Hello folks, my name is uh, Vish Kalsi and I am a Senior Product Line Manager with End User Computing at VMware. We are very excited to partner with Kemp Technologies for providing highly scalable infrastructure for Horizon customers. In this session, we'll be talking about some common customer deployments where VMware and Kemp Technologies could be deployed together. To thrive in digital world, VMware has engineered a solution called Workspace Suite, which basically enables you to bring any applications to any device. Now, your applications could be Windows-based, HTML5, web-based, or mobile applications, and your devices could be anywhere from mobile to laptop to desktops. For this digital workspace, VMware has three, uh, three main pillars. Those are desktop portfolio, mobile for portfolio, and content collaboration portfolio. They are tightly bundled together by single sign-on provided by Identity Manager, and access infrastructure is provided by Unified Gateway. Uh, to access all these applications, Workspace One provides you a single catalog from which you could launch your SaaS apps, your mobile apps, your, uh, your uh, Horizon apps, and all other apps. This provides a single pane of glass for launching any kind of apps. Uh, as mentioned earlier, like uh, Access Point is the unified gateway for EUC solutions. That includes Workspace ONE, Horizon, AirWatch, and uh, VMware Identity Manager. As you see on your right hand side, uh, typically access point is deployed in DMZ, and it provides a secure remote access for resources either on premises or in cloud. It also provides strong authentication in the DMZ, uh, which includes smart card, certificate, RSA secure ID, radius, and SAML. Uh, Access Point has full feature parity with Horizon Security Server. Some of the benefits of using Access Point over Security Server is that there is no one-to-one -one, um, pairing required with View Connection Server, which was the case uh, with, uh, with Security Server earlier. And also, uh, Access Point is a hardened Linux-based Linux security appliance compared to uh, security server, which was a Windows server. So this slide shows you a common, a common uh, Horizon deployment where Workspace ONE is hosted in cloud and uh, hosted in cloud and provides single sign-on on an authentication uh, for, uh, for the users, uh, for on-prem users. So users could uh, be either coming from Workspace ONE client or, or, uh, or Horizon View client. In the DMZ, we have access point appliances, uh, which, which, is, uh, which is the unified gateway from VMware. In order to provide high availability and scalability, we recommend deploying access point appliances behind a load balancer. Um, one of the important security capability of Access Point is that it only for traffic in data center if traffic is on half of authenticated users. Uh, when a, and on your right you see is like in the green zone or internal network is uh, Horizon infrastructure that includes the uh, view connection servers and Horizon desktops. When a Horizon client user connects, to a Horizon environment. The first protocol which is used is called XML API protocol over HTTPS. It's used for authentication. Then the secondary protocols like uh, Blast Extreme and PCO over IP are used for display. Uh, the primary protocol XML API needs to be load balanced. Secondary protocols like Blast or PCO over IP needs to be routed to the same access point for security reasons. So those are the requirements for load balancing in this, uh, this particular setup. 
Similarly to the previous slide, uh, this is a second way of deployment where instead of uh, Workspace ONE hosted in the cloud, we have uh, Horizon as well as Workspace ONE in the green zone on-premises. Uh, the flow remains same as described below. Again, in this case, the uh, access point is sitting in the DMZ behind uh, load balancers. And uh, we have uh, view connection servers and the Workspace ONE also getting load balanced by a second set of load balancers. So that covers, uh, that covers the deployment of Horizon, uh, typical deployments we have for Horizon. Thank you so much. I will pass it on to you, Ravi Bhatt. Thank you. Thank you, Vish, for the overview on Horizon access points. Now I will discuss the options to provide high availability and scalability for access points. Access points are typically deployed in the DMZ. As mentioned earlier, for high availability and scalability, several access point appliances are usually set up behind a load balancer. When a Horizon client connects, uh, several different protocols are used. The first connection is always the primary XML API protocol or HTTPS. Following successful authentication of the client, one or more secondary protocols such as VMware Blast or PCOIP display protocol are made. These secondary Horizon protocols uh, must be routed to the same access point appliance to which the primary connection was routed. This enables the access point to authorize uh, the secondary protocols based on the authenticated user session. Misrouting the secondary protocol um, or the connection is a common problem if the load balancer is not configured correctly. Kemp Loadmasters offers multiple methods to bind the user session to a particular access point um, or for session persistence, as we call it. The load balancer can also be used uh, to provide scalability and availability for VMware Horizon connection servers as shown in the figure here. There are several uh, um, methods uh, to maintain session persistence. The first method to maintain session persistence is source uh, IP persistence. This is the simplest configuration for a load balancer as it uses standard port numbers and a single uh, load balanced virtual IP. In this case, the load balancer uses the client source IP to route secondary protocols to the same access point appliance as was selected for the primary horizon connection. Unfortunately, this method does not work uh, in situations where uh, network service providers or NAT devices uh, change uh, the source IP address. The second uh, uh, method to maintain uh, session uh, persistence uh, is the multiple group, um, port group uh, method. The multiple port group affinity does not rely on source IP address for affinity. Instead, the load balancer is configured to route the secondary horizon protocol based on a unique port number assigned to each access point appliance. So in this case, uh, the primary horizon connection is load balanced to allocate the session to a specific access point appliance based on health and uh, the least loaded appliance. The secondary connection would then be routed uh, to the correct access point appliance uh, based on the port number information. The final method uh, is using multiple virtual IPs. This method is similar to the multiple port group method, except instead of dedicating port numbers uh, to each access point appliance, it dedicates uh, an individual RIP to each appliance, or virtual IP to each appliance. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, if you have two access point appliances, then you will need three RIPs. The primary horizon connection is uh, load balanced to allocate the session to a specific access point appliance based on health and load. The secondary connections will be routed to the correct access point appliance based on the virtual IP information. Now, uh, there are advantages and disadvantages of each method, as I was mentioning, and uh, based on your particular situation, you can choose one of the methods. We also offer uh, geo load balancing. So, um, geo load masters uh, or geo load balancing optimizes and increases the availability and the continuity for Horizon View clients across multiple data centers and hybrid clouds. 
can to your load masses ensure that when a primary site goes down, the traffic is routed to the disaster recovery site automatically. In this way, our clients are always connected to their fastest performing and geographically closest data center seamlessly. I show this picture here. When the client first connects, he gets connected to the New York uh, data center because he is uh, initiating the connection from New York City. Next, when he moves to uh, Singapore, uh, he gets uh, connected uh, to the Singapore data center. So with that, let me go ahead and hand it over to Andrew Redman uh, to talk about uh, the um, uh, how to configure the Loadmaster for these uh, session persistence methods. Over to you, Andy. Prior to actually logging into the Kemp Loadmaster, what I'd like to do is go to the Kemp website and show you under support services documentation where you can gain access to all of the deployment guides and in addition to all of the templates which you know as noted really simplify uh, deploying applications on the Kemp Loadmaster. So let's log in. The default username is BAL for balancer and then I'll enter my password and into the system I go. So under virtual services, this is where I can actually install templates. So what I'll do is I'll choose the template file that I've downloaded. Here it is. I'll click open, add new templates, installed one new Kemp certified templates. And this is the template that's been created. You'll note that it says Kemp certified. Obviously, this is one uh, that we actually uh, created ourselves. So view, modify services. Let me go ahead and add a new uh, service. 172.16.1.50. It says port 80, there is no service name, but I'm going to choose the Horizon View 7 template. It modifies the port, it puts a name which you can change here, or you can just click Add This Virtual Service. So, what I'm going to do first of all is just notate that the service chain for configuration is all together. Very, very simple. It's all in one screen. But let's back out just for a second and click View Modify Services. What you'll note is that this template added all the different elements of Horizon View 7 for the configuration on each of the respective ports. In addition, there is a port 80 redirect, and you can see that notated here to ensure that if you come into horizonview.yourdomain.com, you'll be redirected from port 80 to HTTPS horizonview.yourdomain.com service.com. So in continuing the configuration you can see all of the as I noted the different elements of Horizon View 7 that have been configured with this particular template. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is add some real servers to the configuration. Uh, add new and then I'll put in 172.16.1.20 add this real server OK and then I'll do .21 add this real server okay click back click back and then I'll click modify on the next portion of the configuration 172.16.20 add this real server and dot 21 add this real server click modify add new again these are all real servers that I'm adding to the configuration and this would be reflective of your access points uh, <clears throat> access points the real servers or the access points so add this real server and then dot 21 add this real server then click modify again for this portion dot 20 and dot 21 and the last configuration dot 20 and dot 21. So those are again the access points and you can clearly see that the configuration is complete with respect to load balancing to